Life is unpredictable and it's unlikely that everything will go according to the plan. Yeah, that's absolutely correct. When I started this channel, my plan was to make videos related to Linux and cybersecurity. But here we are now. Most of my videos are about coding and guess what? I might be diving into game development soon. What do you think? Are you interested in game dev videos? Let me know in the comments. But how did this happen? For that, let's go back 4 months. I love video games and I had been wanting to learn game development for a very long time but because of my college this channel and other things I never had the time then in June one morning I woke up checked my phone and boom I got an email from YouTube my channel had received a strike I immediately contacted YouTube support to try and resolve it but it was no use that wasn't the worst part though this was my second strike in 90 days and we all know what happens if you get three strikes your channel is deleted so what did i do i was restricted from uploading or even posting on my channel for 14 days i felt unmotivated to work on a video during this restriction period then i thought why not use this time to dive into something i've always wanted to try game development at that point i only knew about two major engines unity and unreal thanks to all the drama surrounding unity's new pricing model i decided to try unreal engine I found this great Unreal Engine tutorial by Virtuous Learning Hub where he developed an endless runner game like Subway Surfers. Perfect, right? So, I installed Unreal Engine 5, but oh man, it took 20 minutes just to load. I'm not kidding. Even GTA 5 loads faster. Now, I'm not blaming Unreal, but I've got a potato PC and i3 third gen CPU. So, if your PC is like mine, don't even think about using Unreal Engine 5. unless you want to practice patience a quick tip unreal engine 4 is a bit lighter so if you are like me give that a shot as for me i had already made up my mind to use unreal engine 5 even though virtus was using unreal engine 4 in the tutorial on the first day i finally installed the engine and created the project day 2 i managed to make my character run that might sound simple but it was a huge challenge because unreal engine 5's ui is quite different from version 4 which the tutorial was based on so every time something didn't work i had to figure out how to make it work in unreal engine 5 another tip if you are also using unreal engine 5 and if it's super laggy just turn off lumen and nanite those features are so hardware hungry and trust me your pc will thank you Over the next few days I learned how to create tiles, obstacles and coins. Again thanks to this great tutorial, this is what the game looked like at that point. Then I added some power-ups like boots that lets the player jump higher. I even worked on UI elements and created a game over screen. Here's how the final game looked. I tried adding touch screen inputs, but since I was not planning to export it for Android, which would require setting up Unreal Engine with the Android SDK, and honestly, I was done with Unreal Engine by that point. Don't get me wrong. I love Unreal. It's powerful and all, but my potato PC can't handle it smoothly. That's when I started exploring another game engine that loads in seconds. But that's a story for another video.